the music is very intense. It's only an hour and 47 or 48 minutes long, but I would say that 80% of it is very fast moving and extremely intense, and it takes a tremendous amount of concentration. It's one of the most difficult operas to conduct. It's a very complex score with incredible effects of orchestration. Also very modernistic, can be very dissonant at times, but very rich and very expressive. He used so many wind players. In the original version, there are six horns, there are four clarinets, there is a huge percussion ensemble as well. And the way he combines the instruments, different groups doing different things at the same time. And also, it's about the loudest orchestration of any opera that I know. Strauss was a very interesting, he was like a dual personality. He wrote music that was invested with incredible passion and emotion. But as a conductor, he conducted like he was an accountant. It was so dry. You could actually see on YouTube excerpts of Strauss conducting, and it was just the opposite of the passion and intensity you feel in the music. And he said one advice to conductors doing Salome, and I understand that advice. He said you should conduct it like it was the Midsummer Night's Dream music by Mendelssohn, which is very transparent and light. And there was a lot of sense behind that statement because if the conductor goes crazy in these seats, the orchestra will play so loud that you won't hear anything of what goes on on stage. So you have to find the balance between the excitement and the passion and still the clarity and adjusting the sound of the orchestra to not overpower the stage. And that's the hardest challenge for the conductor in this opera. It's interesting, I just conducted a production of Parsifal, which is a five, over a five hour long opera. And that's less tiring than Salome, which is one hour and 47, eight minutes. <laughs> I think it complements the story very well. <laughs> it's, I mean, just as the story is extreme in every way, so is the orchestration. You know, we've done some difficult contemporary opera, but nothing quite of this difficulty. And this is a huge challenge for us, for the orchestra as well. And I think it sets the bar very high in terms of what kind of repertoire we can do at the Atlanta Opera.